what's up, it's Dan or DMath96 here and welcome back to our FM Manager Premier with Stuart GP. And last time out the Hungarian Grand Prix we finished 6th I do believe with Johnny Herbert. It was a win for David Coulthard. Uh, but importantly, uh, Jordan managed to overtake us in the Constructors Championship thanks to their double podium finish that they managed to achieve at the Hungarian Grand Prix. So it's not brilliant for us. We have fallen to fourth, but that's mainly where I expect to finish. I don't really expect to finish third, and if we finish fourth, we'll get an easy objective next year, which I believe will be to finish in third. But anyway, uh, today we are going to be uh, moving on to the Belgian Grand Prix at the Spa Francorchamps circuit. A track that, again, I think is a, is a power track. It's got um, a very long straight, of course, and then it's got the uh, tight and twisted section in the middle. So we don't know what sort of track this could be. Could it suit uh, the Ferraris and McLarens? Could it even suit somebody else like the Jordans, maybe even us? Um, I'm not so sure, but uh, I guess we'll find out once we actually get into the race, because we haven't actually looked at the driver's standings yet. So uh, here they are, and Johnny Herbert still holds on to fourth position. The point that he earned has now made him one point ahead of Heinz Frensen whose third place finish has managed to launch him right of the order. Same for Damon Hill, who finished in second. Barrichello slowly not really gaining anything in the championship. He's tied on points of Ralph Schumacher, three points behind Eddie Irvine. So hopefully he can uh, regain his form and be up there over Jordans. And then in the team manager standings, we're slowly losing our lead to Ron Dennis and Eddie Jordan, who are both slowly catching up. We hope to keep that by the end of the season. We've led since the first round. So let's hope that uh, the fortune in that championship can stay. So now that's the recap from the previous race done, and now it's time to move on to the news report and see what will be confirmed for the other teams for the 2000 season. Another week of news comes by with not much news to be announced once again. Interestingly, both pieces of news relate to Minardi, as while the team have retained technical director Gustav Brunner, the other two members of their staff will be leaving the team for next season. The huge speculation of Gabriel Tredozzi being linked to the Pross team after being the only available chief designer remaining have been confirmed, whilst commercial manager Massimo Cusamano joins McLaren, adding to Ron Dennis's already big list of controversial decisions made this season. With only five rounds remaining this season, can Michael Schumacher catch up to Mika Hacken in the Drivers' Championship? Let's go straight down to the track and take a look at the practice results. OK, so the practice session has just finished here at the Spa Francorchamps and... Michael Schumacher, fastest in practice for Mika Hacken and David Coulthard and Eddie Irvine in fourth. Pretty interesting top four, I know. It's not been like that totally in time of this series. Uh, Johnny Herbert both sixth, so not bad for him. But then Rubens Barrichello down in twelfth. Hopefully we can improve on that. And Damon Hill did go faster than us in the last minute. We only did one lap. And so we'll probably do the same in qualifying, but um, yeah, we have just got to hope really that uh, Barrichello can perform a little bit better in the next session. Uh, meanwhile, back at the bottom, we have Arrows, De La Rosa and Takaki, well, four seconds off the pace of Minardi, and over 20 seconds off the pace of Michael Schumacher. And we've got to keep an eye out for Arrows, because something does happen to them around this time. Previous players of the game will probably know what that is, but anyway, we're actually going to find out what will happen in the next session, as it's time for the qualifying report. Pedro De La Rosa managed 19th in the sole remaining Arrows, as Toro Takaki didn't have a new engine ready for this weekend, and therefore wasn't able to take part. The two Minardis were the slowest cars to set lap times, starting 20th for Badoa and 21st for Janay. The Prost, Sauber and BAR teams all line up in a 2x2 formation from 13th to 18th, with Villeneuve coming out on top. However, a crash for Rubens Barrichello sees him start way down in 12th as teammate Johnny Herbert secured a solid 7th place for the Stewart team. Behind him was Ralph Schumacher in the Williams with teammate Alex Zanardi two places behind. Behind each Williams driver were the Bentons with Fizzy Keller 9th and Verts 11th. It was another third row lockout for Jordan, this time Damon Hill coming out on top. As Mick Hackenden struggles once again and can only manage second with his teammate Coulthard just behind in third. Leaving pole position open for Michael Schumacher, once again hoping to capitalise on his rival's recent bad luck. Alright, so qualifying's just finished, and we're just setting our strategies now. It's going to be a two-stop strategy once again. Uh, for some reason, uh, Barry Kelly's used a different average amount of fuel compared to Johnny Hare, but, that, but that's probably because we only did one lap with Barry Kelly because he crashed on his uh, flying lap. So that's why he's starting 12th. 
and his best lap was set on lap one. Johnny Herbert will start in seventh position. Uh, Michael Schumacher is on pole for this race, so makes a change out in front. Usually it isn't McLaren's on pole. And uh, we're behind the Jordans, which isn't good, so hopefully we can take him in the race. But before we actually get onto the race, I just want to point out there's one interesting thing that I mentioned at the end of the practice session. That was Arrows. Pedro de la Rosa is the only Arrows driver on the grid. Well, that's because his teammate, Toro Takaki, is uh, suspected to have ran out of engines because uh, with the Arrows team, their engines don't last the entire season. If, if you play as Arrows, I think you can make them last the entire season if you uh, use that engine for more than one race, but they don't give you enough engines, really. But that's why Takaki hasn't qualified and basically means that it's the end of the season for him and that this will probably be Della Rosa's last race because Arrows usually run out of engines both drivers by the Italian Grand Prix in the first season. So that was something to point out, especially if you actually want to do an Arrows career mode on this game. And now let's get on to the race, and hopefully it should be a good one. Now let's get on the track, here we go, for the 12th round of the season of the Belgian Grand Prix. It is lights out and away we go and Johnny Herbert oh, off to a poor start. I think he's already behind one of the Williams and there's a traffic jam and a half going down into turn one. But now I actually just want to quickly go on to Toro Takaki in the arrows if I can find him. There he is. So on board of him now he's going to go down towards Eau Rouge and you can't really see it from here. He's gone off, he's gone off it's into a spin and into the grass and the wall and that is Tura Takaki's race over since uh, Arrows don't have any, any more engines left that's it for Takaki I'm afraid so he's out of the race and we will not be seeing any more of him for this season but anyway back onto the race uh, Johnny Herbert did lose position to Ralph Schumacher from the start he's down 8th not brilliant there uh, back to the battle of the Lees and Hakkinen has overtaken Schumacher Coulthard still in 4th Schumacher dropping down to second now. And we've got to remember, these two are the main championship contenders and they didn't finish in Hungary. And Hakkinen hasn't finished in Germany as well. So, can they actually finish this race? And if they don't, this guy could capitalise on the main championship contenders if they don't finish this race once again. Okay, some, some strange reason. We've uh, shot all the way up to fifth position. And something else I've uh, forgot to point out, De La Rosa has also retired on the opening lap as well. Meaning that... Arrows season is officially over and we probably won't see them in qualifying at all for the rest of the year but Johnny Herbert's actually put on a decent show he's overtaken Heinz Al Frentzen two seconds ahead of him for the time being Barry Keller's also making some positions as well he's closing up to the back of a Jordan this is exactly what we need if we actually want to beat them in the Constructors' Championship but Hacken still leads two seconds ahead of Schumacher and they're pulling away from their teammates Barry Keller's moved himself into the points positions ahead of the Jordans we're slowly pulling away. I think we're just going to wait a couple more laps and then put them down to hold position because we're probably not going to catch up to Eddie Irvine. But it's looking good for the time being, I think. It's not looking good for Heintzau, for instance. He's dropping down the order. But we are ahead of Damon Hill. Uh, okay, right. Let's put them down to hold position now because Barrico has just retired. Don't want the same thing happening to Herbert's here. 13 seconds ahead of Hill. He's got some time here on his hands. So just keep him on hold position. Barrico is out of the race. Shame there. Johnny Herbert up into fourth now. Eddie Irvine's out the race. He's down 19th with a driver error. So another retirement for the Ferrari driver. And that's probably why he's leaving at the end of the season. The amount of mistakes he has made. Yes, he has won a race. But he's made way too many mistakes. So David Coulthard's taken second. Because Michael Schumacher just entered the pits. We will be pitting soon as well. Having a decent race for fourth position. Okay, Schumacher's now taken the lead. That must be because Hacken has just entered the pits. We should be coming in very soon as well. It is lap 15, so we will be coming in this lap. One minute off David Coulthard, but miles ahead of the closest drive behind us, which is Giancarlo Fisichella. Here we are entering the pits. Yes, we are entering the pits here at the Belgian Grand Prix from fourth position. Decent race so far. I don't think we're going to get third unless we see some drivers retire. But hopefully we can just keep the car on the track and we'll get a good result for the Stewart team here as we just pull into our pit box right now. And we're out in sixth position behind Heinz Howe Friends, but just behind him and Damon Hill as well. So he's in sixth position. They haven't pitted yet. No, they haven't. Which Damon Hill has, though, and he's managed to jump us, so that's not good. There we are. We're ahead of Damon Hill. Keep him pushed a little bit longer. 
One thing that I have actually forgot to mention as well is that David Coulthard retired from the race with a fueling issue. So maybe McLaren must have underfueled him. Uh, we're, we're now in third position. Hacking and Schumacher battling out for the lead. We're a lap down. Uh, we're slowly pulling away from Damon Hill, but Schumacher and Hacking swapping positions here every couple of laps. Have we made our final pit stop. When are we coming to lap 29? It's not 29 now, so, we, so we're in the pits this time. We are miles ahead of Damon Hill. Hopefully we can stay in that position and get a good result. Join behind Damon Hill, only five seconds down there. We need to keep pushing if we want to actually beat him. Meanwhile, Hakkinen is leading and is slowly increasing his lead to Michael Schumacher. Looks like it's going to be another McLaren victory. But can Johnny Herbert get that important podium position? He has done. Uh, not more drives retiring as well. Ralph Schumacher has just retired from the race and we are eight seconds ahead of Damon Hill. We're going to keep it in push though. We want to try and increase that lead to beat uh, the Jordan driver. Oh my goodness me! Hakkinen has just retired from the race. The suspension has gone from that to McLaren. And we are now in second position. Decent chance of points here. We can get back ahead of Jordan, I think, if we stay like this now. But obviously Damon Hill's just behind us. I don't know if we'll be ahead of Jordan or not. But what a crazy race this is. And another retirement for Mika Hakkinen. So what an advantage this is going to be for Michael Schumacher. Hakkinen has retired from the third consecutive race. He hasn't scored now in the past three races. Schumacher has gained in Germany. He didn't score in Hungary, but he is certainly going to gain 10 points here in Belgium as Michael Schumacher will go around the bus stop chicane for the final time and will take his second victory of the season and an all-important 10 Schumacher. points in the championship battle for the German, taking a brilliant victory for Ferrari. But what is going to be all-important here is Johnny Herbert, who is making it round the final few corners. He's just entering Blanchemont now. Damon Hill has been catching, but only slightly over the past few laps and it's looking like Johnny Herbert is going to equal his best result of the season in second place secured second of course in Imola he hasn't been on the podium since Monaco and Johnny Herbert rounds the final corner and it's second place for Stuart GP what a drive from the Englishman shame that he's leaving us at the end of the season not far behind is Damon Hill who will take home third two Brits on the podium brilliant result for him as well so Ricardo Zonta uh, I believe that's his first point of the season in fifth. Chrissy Keller taking fourth. John Lacey have uh, taken the final point in sixth and the first point of Sauber. Uh, I think the Brazilian Grand Prix was the last time they scored. But anyway, Michael Schumacher wins from Johnny Herbert and Damon Hill. And that's going to be all important for the championship battle, I do believe. And Michael Schumacher now gaining another 10 points from Mika Hakkinen, who has failed to finish this race. So let's have a look at the standings now. So in the Drivers' Championship standings, we extend our fourth place lead over Damon Hill. But more importantly, Michael Schumacher is only nine points off Mika Hacken. And he has gained quite a lot in the past few races. Maybe he didn't score in Hungary, but that ten points is really important. And we're obviously coming to Ferrari's home Grand Prix next and a possibility of the championship lead for Michael Schumacher. It's very slight, but... We never know what could happen. Elsewhere in the championship, Barrichello is slowly falling back once again. You have uh, Fizzy Keller pulling away and Damon Hill even pulling away as well. And this is going to be a battle for fourth here, which is going to be interesting between Herbert Hill, Fizzy Keller and Frentzen, who's still relatively in that. Uh, but Johnny Herbert currently leading the battle just to be best of the rest so far in fourth position. Arrows have ended their season pretty much on zero points. Uh, neither driver will be able to compete in the next few races thanks to having no engines. And still uh, five drivers yet to score. Ricardo's on to getting off the mark for his first points of the season. And in the Constructors' Championship, the second place didn't put us ahead of Jordan. But McLaren are still miles ahead of everyone else. And I think, if I'm correct, they can still secure the uh, Constructors' Championship in the next round in Monza. I think they can, I'm not sure. I think they might just get a 1-2 Ferrari not scoring, but, but they look certain to take the title now. We look certain to finish in the top four, as long as we don't have any bad results. I'm pretty sure we'll finish ahead of Benetton and Williams. Jordan will be a tough battle here for third. BAR um, staying ahead of Sauber, still with Ricardo's on to two points. Uh, looking like they're going to secure eight from the championship. And then, obviously, Arrows and Minardi yet to score. Arrows can't score any more points now. 
And then the Team Managers Championship, Eddie Jordan moves up into second position thanks to the podium he achieved with Damon Hill. Ron Dennis moves down to third and Frank Williams is still at the bottom. We still stay in first though, which is pretty good. Hopefully we can keep that uh, by the end of the season, slowly extending our lead. So that has been the Belgian Grand Prix and next up we'll be moving on to the Italian Grand Prix in Monza. The second to last European round of the season. Obviously the home of Ferrari. Will this be a Ferrari track? Will Ferrari take the win? We don't know. Can McLaren bounce back? Hakkinen needs a podium finish after retiring in the previous three rounds. Not being a brilliant second half of the season for the current defending champion. But maybe this could all change it. And hopefully we can do well again. We've got that second place today. But I'd like to thank you guys for watching. If you have, please leave a like. Comment down below. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Until next time, guys. This has been DMAT96. I'll catch you guys later. You pull apart, start to fight. And I know there's something between us with nothing inside. Nothing at all. You pull apart.